Hello everyone. So today we'll cover Debian 12. As you can see on the website, we have two areas which are striking. The first one is the community, which is very important for the Debian ecosystem. And the second one is the operating system. The second on the right is it has only one download button. And we know in Linux, there's not one download button. Everyone has a taste. Some of them like the desktop environment, some of them like packages, some of them like servers, some of them like all the other flavors that are included with Linux, which makes it also good and bad at the same time. So what they included is this operating system and this download link. So what does this download link do? And as you can see, we have only one, one installation, which is the net install uh, installation which only is, resembles a, a server system more than a desktop. In order to get the desktop, what we have to do is we have to go here to getting Debian, other installer. You go directly to try Debian Live, and then you go down to DFD USB, and you will have here all the other distributions that, or the live environments that you need. For example, if you need Cinnamon, GNOME, KDE, LXQT, MATE, standard xfce so we have two types of what we can use so we have two types of what we can use we can use the net install which is very well known for a server like an old-fashioned installer and the live one which is based on the new calamaris installer so today what we will do is we'll compare these two the net one and the live one and see what is the difference but it is clear for debian is that they want the server to take a huge part of its ecosystem not the desktop part because of the link and the way they put only one link for the net installer and if you want to check for the desktop environments you have to dig down two three four levels deep in order to get the link for the other so let me start first with the net installer we'll discuss about the desktop environment for the net installer and then we'll cover the other alternative with the live version so we start first with the graphical install after that it will show us the language i will put english the location united states and the keyboard is american english and it will start to detect the wi-fi and all the other systems that are available so we, we continue the same thing root password i don't put a root password set up user and username and password so here i put my username i put debian 12 and also it will confirm it here and we put the password for the username very simple next we put the location here i put the eastern time it depends on your location it will give you of course because it is also connected to the internet so it, it uh, uh, directly can get it now it is setting the partition in order to do it guided use entire disk yes no problem or there are some uh, options and also there is the manual if you want to change the file type and and many other things also the swap here also the hard disk we have one hard disk here there is an option of all files in one partition or you can create a home partition it depends on your taste but i kept it as all in one place and we have the finish and it will be right changes to disks i say yes so so that's the stage so it will install the base system and now it will configure the package manager for the download link so uh, there is an extra installation media i say no it will give me the location of the mirror i put you united states and this uh, website so directly you, uh, it will be faster for the installation and now for the popularity contest, if you want to participate, I say no. And now you have to select. I remove the Debian des the desktop environment because it is also GNOME and I removed GNOME and I put LXQT. Very simple. So you can pick whichever you want, but you have to remove the GNOME and the Debian desktop environment. Now it is installing the grab bootloader. It will tell us uh, install the grub bootloader. I say yes. Manually or the hard disk? No, I'll put the hard disk. I want it to load from my hard disk.
and that's it so it will install the grab boot loader it will make some finalizing the installation and that's it finish the installation so you continue you remove the the iso from your uh, from your drive and directly we go to the system here we are in our net install uh, installation and as you can see this lxqt environment we have the programs first let us check the programs we have feather notes feather pad pc man fm the qt and xr driver for the graphics there is the xsane and lx image for the images for the internet we have firefox and thunderbird which is good to have these two for the office we have library office for the sound mpv player for the system tools we have the terminal and there is the preferences the lxqt preferences there is the synaptic package manager we can compare this one to muan package manager in lubuntu if we want and about lxqt we have this one as 1.2 and that's basically it so what we have an extra if we want to consider we go to the terminal let us uh, first check how much we installed it is installed 5.29 gigabytes which is fine if i want to compare it to if i want to compare it to lubuntu lubuntu got around 9.3 and the same packages are available in lubuntu and debian so here i think debian has a better alternative than lubuntu but of course lubuntu had the the discover the discover software system and also has the snaps so what we will do here for the net install we will give back the advantage for debian by the installation of flat packs and the gnome software center let me first go to the my website i have this so these are the steps that we need to do so first sudo apt install flat pack i copy it paste the clipboard and say yes okay so finished the other thing i need to add the flat hub repository okay it's added and last but not least we need to add the gnome software plugin flat pack let me paste and it will take a bunch of uh, dependencies that we need to install i included the plugin flat pack because when you put plugin dash flat pack and gnome center it will install the gnome center because it is not installed so it's a good trick to include this one so that it can install everything so i click yes okay so it has finished so we have 584 megabytes i think it will be around 500 because we made all these installation there's some things that got working uh, together but it will be the same as lubuntu also the same thing there's not much that is involved so we close this one and let us check with the software center okay so this is the gnome software center if i want to check if flat packs are installed i can check with shortcut which is my favorite video editor and if you notice here i have here by default it is flat hub and if you notice here flat hub 14 june 2023 this is the latest version of shortcut but for example if i want to check the debian version The Debian version is 21, 12, 22. It is six months ago. And that's the problem with Debian. That's why I installed Flatpaks because it give you a part-time solution, not a full full solution for, for Debian because Debian packages are very old. But it gives us an alternative for us to benefit from the newer package and this also uh, when debian 12 has just installed what if after one year or two years 
this version will remain the same and will have more uh, innovation and or more newer packages that are released so that's a very big question that any Debian user has to know but of course if you are using Debian in the terminal and if, or in servers you don't have this problem you just uh, benefit from the solid stability of Debian in that space okay so to wrap on the net install it is around 5.3 gigabyte which is much less than the Lubuntu installation now we have the GNOME Center which you can also install flat packs in Lubuntu they have snaps here we have flat packs so basically if you want to compare uh, apples with apples it is the Debian one will will uh, perform better but as time goes on the Ubuntu because it will release another version it will have more uh, more up-to-date packages so you'll have something to compare more but at that stage now this Debian is better than the Lubuntu 23.04 that is already released so let us now go to the live install of Debian with the Calamaris installer so now we are in the live installer for Debian let me click this one and I will say execute the password for the live is live so this is we have to be very careful if we get this one especially in the live image okay so here is very simple you might imagine this is not the Debian that you know it is it is the Calamares installer for Debian 12 bookworm very easy American English I say next you put the area America New York the default keyboard English English erase disk okay I click next I'll put the name let's say I put Debian 12 I'll put the bad password don't do that I click next that's it and install you see how easy I don't know what Debian are thinking but this one is very fast and all users they would like to have this one even if it is on a server it is very nice to have this installation with minimum uh, input from the user so we'll install and we'll come back when it's finished okay so we booted the normal live install this is the installed one so if we want to look at the applications in the accessories it's the same thing in the net install the same programs here for education the same graphics the same for internet there is Firefox but there is no Thunderbird so the net install has more packages for the office okay the same library office and QPDF the sound for the system the same the preferences they are all with LXQT and these are it so basically they have the same same programs that are installed in both systems let us check the how much space we have so if you notice here we have 9.37 gigabytes so there is too much that are installed on this system and the net installed there is 5.3 this one is 9.3 so we have around 4 gigabyte extra if we want to check why this, this extra let me check let me have it like this I don't know if you can see it but here it is 7.9 gigabyte in the user and 4 gigabyte in the share and the libraries we have 3.6 gigabyte in the libraries we have the firmware 685 gigabyte the mega there's the library office there's also extra here 521 and there is also the modules and also if you look here at the share we have also 1 gigabyte for the fonts I think in in the there's true type fonts the noto fonts also the net install doesn't have it so they have included more themes i think here in this version to go around more than 9.3 so now it is same as the lubuntu installation the lubuntu installation is around 9.3 gigabyte this one is also around 9.3 gigabytes and i think there's a lot of 
firmware so if you have if we want to install this one on a hard disk and move it around i think this one is better than the net install if you want to install it if we look at the edge top i don't know if it will give us a good result but it uh, on the cold boot it gave around 450 now we have we are around 690 megabytes but i think it is much less because we already made some update i before i i uh, became live with uh, this uh, version so here the ram is the same the kernel of course of both of them is around 6.1 6 the kernel so there's no problem with the kernel but the other thing that we need to worry about is the packages and as time goes on now it is perfect everyone is happy we have uh, kde 5.27 we have gnome 43 we have uh, 1.2 the lxqt is 1.2 also but as one year or 1.5 years before the end of the other version you will you will be uh, feel frustrated because many packages have been updated and you cannot do anything about it that's the story of Debian server versus desktop. So you have to pick your version. For now, it is good to have it. But for as time goes on, you have to rethink maybe some of your decisions. Thank you and we will be back with another video.